Hey Simleys, it's Delicracy here with part five of Let's Build an Art Gallery and Artist Studios. And I'm sorry, this has been a long time since the last part of this. I guess sometimes when I'm working on a project, I kind of want to wait until I feel inspired to work on it again. Otherwise, um, otherwise it's just not as fun. So luckily today I'm feeling like finishing this off. We've done a really great job. I really like the downstairs. I like the colors that we've chosen here. I think it's very harmonious and we've got the big nude lady statue there. This ballerina, I think, um, I think she's really pretty <laughs> and we should size her up just a tad because yeah, I think, I think she's looking pretty good. Pretty good. I wonder though, if we put in a bit of a fountain out here, uh, how that would look with her maybe in the middle. I don't know if we can just kind of whack her in there. I do have move objects on, so I guess we can. And then we want to get some tiles. I like, um, I really like darker tiles in The Sims, um, usually in pools. I don't know why, but I just do. That is not going to happen. We'll go with tiles and tiles. Uh, I guess it goes with the blue on the exterior of the building. That's cool. That's cool. And then can we do the, how do we do the trims? Fountain trims. Here we go. What do they look like? Not that one. Uh, we'll go this one. We'll go this one. Did we want blue around the fountain? Did we want black? Ooh, black's kind of snazzy. Well, it's a bit harsh, isn't it? We'll just go classy white. There we go. Awesome. And I guess we should put some fountains in there as well. Hopefully she doesn't get deleted because that's always a bit annoying. Um, we'll just pop in these fountain duvalackies. And I think that'll be quite a quite a pretty, pretty spot for your Sims to look at. Also, a lot of you guys were like, oh my gosh, when you're looking for the space rock, there was one directly downstairs. <laughs> Sozzles. I am sorry about that. Um, I I do... I don't know. It's weird. You hear other YouTubers talk about this and they say that um, when you're recording, you like your attention's kind of split up a little bit more. So sometimes you just don't notice really obvious things because you're recording. I don't know. I've heard other people say that as well, like other Simmer YouTubers and... I don't know, sometimes you just have to bear with us, I am sorry. <laughs> uh, and of course, you guys who record as well watching would totally understand. I kind of want a tree here, but I feel like it would obstruct this lady statue. So maybe we should just make it this garden bed thing. Now, how do we continue to place lots of these? You just hold down shift. There we go. Nice, nice. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, so uh, moving on upstairs, we've also done all these gallery areas. Oh, and you guys did say that the uh, the fruit bowl light that exists, um, fruit bowl light, this one. Uh, you, some of you guys were actually saying to put this in the drawing room for them to sketch, but I actually think it suits this artist who's doing like fluorescent lighting. Uh, artworks. I thought that was kind of a cool idea to put this in there. Uh, maybe in several different colors because it's like his kind of dealio in there. Cool beans. All right, but we did need to fix up this table here. I mean, it's just looking sad. It's just so sad right now. Uh, okay. Okay, I'm gonna think like what what objects do we have available that could be easily sketched? Someone was saying with the art career, there was like a torch shining on something, but I didn't really understand the comment completely. So I don't know. Um, oh, was it maybe? Oh, we should have a photographer. That's such a good idea. Yes, we need one of these rooms to have photography. Maybe the pop artist can just have a camera in here. We'll just, we'll just pop it there. Sneaky camera on the ground. Uh, for a sneaky, sneaky selfie whilst on the job. You never know. You never know what they might feel like. <laughs> uh, we could, uh, I guess we can just leave these objects. This so reminds me of when I did life drawing back in the day. Back in the day, it actually wasn't that long ago, but oh, those lessons went for so long. 
I don't know. I guess, I mean, if you guys want to download this, you can put whatever you like in the middle for them to sketch. I'm kind of okay with just higgledy-piggledy random objects um, just because that's what I think is realistic and that's how I learnt to draw stuff. Although the fruit bowl, the fruit... Didn't we already have a fruit bowl in here? Did it just get deleted? I do wonder sometimes with The Sims. I do, I do. Let's wait. That is, that is completely floating. All right, we can't have both of these, Deli, so you have to choose. There we go. We're just going to put those objects there. Oh, and someone said it would be more realistic to have a table um, that had a cloth on it because usually that's how it's done. And you know what? I totally agree, but we don't want one with fancy stuff on the bottom, but I don't think we really get to choose. So uh, we'll just find one that's the least obvious. We'll just go this Oh, now all the spacing's going to be different. I oh, know, it wasn't so bad. I thought that was going to be super annoying, but it's it. It's it. All right, let's move on up uh, to the space room. We had some old sculptory stuff here, and whoopsies, forgot to put my phone on silent. What's going on here? Oh, that's the toilet. That's the toilet. And oh, another one of you guys were like, my OCD is going crazy because um, these plinths weren't weren't correct. But that's that's working. I like that the heads, one's going this way, one's going that way. I personally think that is balanced. So I don't have an issue with that. We need some lights in here. I mean, like, what? I feel like this needs different color on it. Is this gray? Is that what we did there? Yeah. I, I just don't feel like it's dramatic enough. Um, for you to be able to notice it's a completely different color. What are other, other options do we have? I mean, it works, but I'm not loving it. <laughs> I'm just not loving it. Mm, it's kind of put me in the mood to build a house that's really neutral, though. That's a bit nicer. I don't know. I just want... I want charcoal gray. That's what I want. I want a dark... Charcoal. Done. And then that is what's in the other room. So that leads it in there. That's really cool. And then maybe we can put the tiles on this wall because it'll break it up a bit. And it kind of looks like there's bathrooms there. Do you reckon we should delete one of these walls? Hmm. Yeah. I'm going to leave it like that. I'm going to leave it like that. Uh, I just, I don't mind it. And these, these lights should not be in the middle of the statues, preferably. It's not such an awesome idea. Oh my god, messages. Alrighty, so, 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 so. What was in here? I don't think that's meant to be there. That's meant to look down. Yeah. Fabulous. I'm thinking this blue wall is just too much. I want to put the charcoal over there as well because we have our space room. And I really like this room. We were having a glitch before when, when, uh, whenever we tried to delete these, it would like delete all of them so we couldn't move this space rock. I think that's what happens. So let's put that in the corner. And oops, sorry, I had the grid on. I knew that frustrates you guys. Um, apologies. We can have that space rock there and then we can actually... Get these bad boys and taper her off again. Uh, there's not an option to make it a black rope, no. Okay. Kind of... This is like going to kill a kid walking past, so preferably we don't want that. Uh, sorry to be morbid. Okay. Cool. I like it. I like the space room. That is a cool space room. All right, so we've got the old-fashioned kind of bit, <laughs> the old-fashioned, well, the the older work. Um, and then up up here, we're gonna do like a uh, like a bit of a loungy cafeteria type thing. So let's get some counters in, because um, I I think that's probably the best idea. I might like to extend this wall though, just across one. Um, it's a bit hard, like I really want to make a full-on cafeteria in The Sims 4, but like you, it's difficult to make it realistic because obviously there's not the cafeteria options. Kind of digging the idea of using just these silver counters. 
because it looks kind of legit. Um, or we could go white. Um, hmm. Hmm. Or dark. For some reason, I'm in like a dark mood. Where did we make the bathrooms again? They're, they're all white. I suppose we should kind of keep that up. I really want some white rectangular tiles. Um, sorry, wall tiles with black around them. You know what I mean? You know that look where it's like smaller rectangles than these and they've got black around them and they're white. And I just love, I just love the look of them. So good. All right. I reckon... You know what? Change my mind. I'm sorry, guys. I think we need to go back to the to the white the um white counters. Where are we? Where are we? Yeah, we'll go back. Oh, but it's so just bleh. I don't know. Or we go industrial. Maybe our problem is that these tiles are just reminding us of the bathroom, so it's like. It does not look like a kitchenette. I could turn them grey. And that's better. Make this like a feature wall. Yeah. That works. And that links in the uh, the darker black on those counters. Alright. It's working. I'll say it's working. Alright. So then we want to put... No, we don't want those. We want these. It's kind of... Maybe go like that. Or if we put a bar there, we could actually get Sims to socialize. Or be able to order drinks and food, like, legit. That's kind of a nice idea. Question is, if we can fit this all in. I reckon our issue is this sectional front part. Like, I don't know. Are we sectioning off too much? Maybe we should just have it. Whoops, got rid of the light. Maybe we can kind of place it here. These sculptures, not sure what we want to do with those quite yet. But if we had it as soon as you walk up the stairs, then you could kind of go to the bar and get... Um... Whoa! That is so cool. I didn't actually realize you could get a matching bar. Oh, yes. <laughs> I'm so happy now because it matches these counters that we've just gone through. And now it looks like a legit bar. Should we put a fridge in there, though? Hmm. Do we want to be able to eat here or do we just leave it as a bar area for... Well, I guess from the bar you can buy snacks. So we probably don't need a fridge. I'm going to put a fridge there though. And I always put a wall in between. A lot of you guys ask why I do that. And the reason is... Uh, the fridges look... I don't know. I think fridges look a little bit small in the sims 4 i don't know let me know if you guys agree but yeah i don't know also i'm going to need ideas for the next uh let's build um so if you do have any ideas please let me know because i have i just don't know i know a few of you guys are really wanting a new library um or like a hangout what am i doing we don't need that oh actually if we're gonna have a fridge we should have a stove hey just seems odd to go upstairs and there'd be like a kitchen. I mean, the kitchen would usually be hidden, right? Right? Unless we did hide the kitchen. It's like a secret, secret cooking spot in here. Maybe. Oh my gosh. More messages. I must be popular today. You know why? I am popular today because it's Australia Day on Monday, so in like a few days time. So on Australia Day, of course, pe people are making plans to do fun stuff. So that's what that's all about. 
Um, but I don't know. I was thinking of having a more quiet weekend. <laughs> Delhi having some quiet time, but it is Australia Day, so I'll probably do something. Okay, so there's like, a, I like this setup. I like it. Okay, so food could be prepared there in secrecy in case they wanted to prepare some hot food. I'm going to put a sneaky sink there as well. And then we're just going to have these counters here to prepare the food on. Oh, what did that do? Deli's going crazy. Okay, or maybe we could, could actually put a sink there, but I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna do it. Uh... All right, what else can we put in this fun little kitchenette? Fruit bowl. Everybody likes a little bit of fruit now and then. Uh, coffee mugs, perhaps not. Sometimes it's just easier to go to the kitchen area and then... Oh, was I just in that area? Did I have... Oh my gosh, having a moment. Anyways, uh, we could put some of these hanging down like pots and pans well we we could put a range hood in I always forget there's range hoods in the sims 4 I oh I used to always ask for range hoods in the sims 3 it was like I just just give me a range hood <laughs> and when the sims 4 came out I was just so happy <laughs> so happy that they included them um, I like to think that they personally heard me ask for it, but I, I'm sure many people were asking. <laughs> uh, all right, I've got the range here. That will do fine. Appliances. Oh yeah, microwave. Oh, took a while. Got there in the end and maybe a coffee maker. So they could go make coffee if, if they wanted to. Uh, do we want some chairs at the bar? I don't really want chairs there. I want them to go sit over here, but I feel like a lot of you guys would prefer there to be chairs in your games. Uh, we could go with the blue because we've got a bit, a bit of a blue theme going on. Mm -mm. Ooh, these are fun. Okay. Okay, we'll make we'll make a bar spot. We'll put two chairs there. No, we'll put three chairs there so they can order. It looks like they could order from them. Okay. Okay, let's go <laughs> into decorations. And we need something on this wall. Maybe the pop artist from downstairs did this. Although I think we've used all the paintings. But it looks so good there because it ties in with the <gasps> Oh, if we made these chairs different colors, it would like tie into that painting and that would be cool. See what it, see what's happening? That's fun. That's that's gallery-esque. I feel like that would happen. All right, we could put this dude over here at the wall, but I don't know. Let's put those outside. Uh, we want tables and chairs. That's what we want over here. So we could put some glass in, like a glass divider. Which I know some of you guys will be like, what? <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> Crazy person. Just trust me on this one. Because this is a gallery. I mean, you can be creative with a gallery. But, I mean, you, you can go... If there's one time to go crazy with weird stuff, it, it's when you're doing a gallery. <laughs> um, okay, like that. Kind of, I think I'm going to be into this idea. I'm thinking that these kind of, around these glass panels are going to be the tables, so where you would sit. Um, surfaces, dining tables. So let's go glass because I think that's just a classy option. A glassy option. Ha <laughs> ha. Oh, that was terrible. Ignore that. And oh, I've just been loving the terrible puns at the moment. I don't really know why. It can be like rainbow chairs everywhere. It can be called 
the Rainbow Cafe at the at the top of the gallery. See, so they have a little bit of privacy, but you could totally wave through the window. Yeah, that was kind of cool. Um, all right, got some chairs in here. You know, I'm thinking we might uh, need to dull it down a bit with some grey because we need to tie it into that wall. That's the thing. When you're working with lots of different colours, I just think adding in the neutrals to tie in uh, really makes a massive difference. If I uh, do say so myself. Okay. We'll pop another table there. And if they're wanting to sit with more than three people, then... I'm sorry, but you're going to have to leave the gallery. You ha you'll have to go someplace else. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, yeah, that's cool. Oh, hold on for a second. We could extend this and make these tables a little bit more generous by adding another one. Let's work this out. Move that across one. Uh, might merge them in the middle. Hopefully that will still work fine. Okay, so so there's there is a table if there's a big group getting all excited to sit sit down at the uh, Rainbow Cafe, they can. Pop those in there. Lovely. Lovely. Okay. Uh I'm gonna pop this light there. Um Probably need. Oh, also, someone said please put lights in the individual toilets because apparently I forgot to do that. Oh, yes. Yeah, sorry. Uh, I might put these. Ah, they're so big. I, uh, ugh, too much. Oh, and toilet paper goes on the left side for most people. Apparently. And yes, there is a little bit of a height difference. Okay, the toilets are lit up. We've got the space section. Um, we've got the cafe. I love this cafe. That's so cool. I like it. And I like the sneaky cooking area in case someone wants a sneaky snack. Uh, we could do like rainbow down this wall, but are we game enough is the question. I don't know if we are. I mean, I'm sure we're game enough, but it's like, is it too much? Half of you will say yes and half of you will say no, no doubt. <laughs> uh, have we got that blue colour? This is when I really want a colour wheel so then I can match everything and it can look really pretty. So that turquoise is there. gray too. What we could do for this wall is we could make it mostly gray and just spot it with the colors. You know what I mean? Uh, so we might double up the yellow and then where my red at? <laughs> uh, could we go this red? That's right. So it's kind of spotted with rainbows. I like that. That's a cool, cool spot to sit. Like, that is a fun gallery. Okay. I mean, I'm liking it. I don't know about you guys. And here, could we have sculptures along the roof? That would be really um, interesting. Now, if we do a pool, that's not going to happen. And I'm pretty sure you can't do fountains on surfaces. Damn it. But I like this architecturally. I think it looks kind of cool. Unless we do like a green patch. Patch of grass. Uh, patch of grass. What am I doing? Having like a massive brain dysfunction moment. Is that going to be weird with the blue? Hmm. I'm not digging it. We could put rocks and ferns in there, maybe. I'm just not sure about... Like, blue and green does 
like they do look really nice together oops uh but i just i don't know i don't know about just then could you like a rock scale some of them up i'm thinking what i'm doing right now is like a zen zen-esque garden you can put like i don't know these around nope not that not that where's the normal oh this one plasticky hmm it would be much nicer if you're sitting up there to look out onto a little garden than nothingness yeah, let's fence it in. Let's fence it in and see how it looks. Is something gonna get deleted there? If we, fe you know what? Okay, we'll fence it in and we'll make it green. We'll we'll make it have green patch, a green patch in the middle. Yeah, that works. And I'll try and get this out of the side, just so there's a little bit of greenery and something that is a little bit interesting upstairs to look at. I guess it would be kind of cool seeing it from downstairs as well. You'd be like, oh, what's going on up there? We should check that out. Oh, okay. That's what we should do. We should extend it straight to the window. We'll just... Uh, do we want to... Kind of go like that. All right, now it's a bit unbalanced. Got to get it looking mighty fine again. <laughs> and let's view it from this side. Put those fans in there. Maybe some lavender. No, lavender and blue. Mm -mm. Yeah. We need one more lone rock in this corner. Just, it's too big. Just there. Better, better. Alrighty, so I think that's pretty much it for the build. Um, I mean, obviously we have these dudes lying around, so we want to get rid of those. Uh, but I'm going to go into the screenshots right now um, whilst I finish off the build. But I had a lot of fun with this. I mean, I love uh, the, different, the different views or the different genres of each a uh, gallery area. I mean, there's lots of things to look at, lots of things to enjoy um, for all different kinds of sims and your sims can go get a snack and they can also uh, take a painting lesson if they would so like to. Um, and they can go to the awesome, ga the rainbow gallery, not the rainbow gallery, the awesome, awesome rainbow cafe if they want to but anyways let me know what you'd like in the next series and i hope you're having a lovely morning afternoon or evening wherever you're around the world i'll speak to you soon bye